Quick revision video on empirical formula. So we start with the essentials. Empirical formula is the simplest whole number ratio of each type of atom in a compound. Empirical formula can be calculated from composition by mass data or percentage composition by mass data. Molecular formula is the actual number of each type of atom in a compound. So an example there, benzene has the molecular formula C6H6, so it's actually got six carbons and six hydrogens, but the simplest whole number ratio of each type of atom in the compound is CH. So we're going to look at three types of calculation. So the first one is calculate an empirical formula from composition by mass. So if you want to have a go, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Okay, so I always get my students to put their answers in a table and follow those four steps that you can see down the left hand side. So the first thing I'm going to do is put the mass in grams of phosphorus and oxygen in the compound. Then we're going to put the relative atomic mass of the atoms in the table. We're going to divide the mass by the relative atomic mass. That's going to give us the moles. Just make sure you record those to three significant figures, rounded correctly of course. And then we're going to divide by the smallest, so 0.04 in this case, to get the simplest ratio, which comes out of 1 to 1.5. Now, what we can't do is round that 1.5 up to 2. So we have to multiply out. So we're going to multiply both of these by 2. And that's going to give us the simplest whole number ratio, 2 to 3. So the empirical formula for this compound is P2O3. So here's the second one, percentage composition this time. So again, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. Great thing about this is the method's exactly the same. So all we're doing here is we're assuming for every 100 grams, we've got 32.4 grams of sodium, 22.5 grams of sulfur and 45.1 grams of oxygen. So we're just putting the percentages in now. We're still gonna put the relative atomic masses in and divide the mass by the relative atomic mass to get the moles, remember three significant figures, and then divide by the smallest, which in this case is that middle one, 0 0.701. So we get a 2.01 to 1 to 4.02 ratio. Now the 2.01 is so close to the um, 2, we can just assume that that is 2. Whereas in the previous one, it was 1.5. We couldn't round that up to 2. We had to multiply out. We don't need to multiply out in this one, so it's just Na2SO4. Okay, so the final one, it's percentage composition data, but this time we have got the MR as well of the compound. So we've got to calculate the empirical and the molecular formula from that information. So again, pause the video and then play on when you're ready for the answers. So there's the table. There's the percentages, there's the relative atomic masses. Divide the mass by the relative atomic mass, gets us the moles. Divide by the smallest, so we get those numbers there. And obviously the 2.02 .02 is just 2, 1.009 is just 1. So the empirical formula is CH2Br. So now, how do we work out the molecular formula? Well, the first thing we need to do is work out the mass, the relative mass of the empirical formula. So that's 93.9. We're now going to find out how many times that goes into the MR of the whole molecule. So we take the MR of the molecule and divide that by the MR of the empirical formula. So we get 2. So that means that the molecule has got double the atoms that are in the empirical formula. So we just double the empirical formula and we get C2H4Br2. So empirical formula in three simple steps. Step one, find the moles, mass over MR or percentage over MR. Divide all of the moles by the smallest moles and multiply out till whole if you need to.